Okay, let's whip through the review for series and sequences, our last unit uh, for this year. Find the first five terms here. All you're going to do here is uh, find F1, F2, F3, and all you'll do is, it's just a different way to write the series and sequences for the terms of T uh, subscript N. You just write it in function notation. So it would be 3 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1, and figure out what that is. And then there's your first one, F2, just function notation, what, sub a 2 in here and here, and keep going five times. Okay, find the first four terms of this sequence. Uh, now this stuff here, I don't want to confuse anyone. So what that is basically saying is we want whole numbers in our sequence. Uh, I think that got to some people. So T1 is minus 3. T2 is now going to take uh, follow this. This is a recursive sequence. So it'll come up later. So you take the term before and you add to it 2 times N. And N is this number here. So 2 times 2, which is minus 3 plus 4, which is plus 1. And then if I went to the next term, and I'll just do one more, I take this value here, I take the value of the term in front, so plus 1. And what I do now, sorry, is I add 2 times 3 here. So that's 6, 1 and 6 is 7. And then I do that one more time, and I'm done. Let's find this recursive formula. So recursive formulas, remember to recur recursive formulas start off with T1, at least T1 being stated. And in this case, so let's look at the formula first before I move on, sorry. I start with 3, and I add 3, and I add 3, and I add 3 each time. So T1 is 3, and then every term after that, so the general term Tn after, uh, after the first term, is I take my previous term, which is Tn minus 1, and I add to it 3, except I don't add 3, I subtract 3. That was a trick. hope I didn't catch you. Minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. So I take my term in front, and I subtract 3, subtract 3, subtract 3. That's the formula. Okay. I have T1 is equal to 3, comma, Tn is equal to the the term in front of it, t, n minus 1, minus 3. Write the th next three terms next three terms of this sequence and find the general term. So you might uh, you can just do this. Uh, you're subtracting 2, subtracting 2, subtracting 2, so it would be negative. Uh, sorry, you're not subtracting. You're adding 2, you're adding 2, and you're adding 2, so you get the negative 2, and then you add 2, and you get to 0, and you add 2, and you get to 2. What's the general term? So this is the explicit formula uh, for this sequence. So this is Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1D. And don't forget, uh, this is different than the recursive formula uh, because you don't need the term before it. So this is, you don't need Tn. So for Tn, the general term here, you need to know the value of the term uh, in front of the term that you're looking for. Here you don't. And A is my first value, which is 10 minus 10 plus N. I don't know what N is, or sorry, it's not that I don't know what N is. It's the general term, so I leave N as is. And my D is plus 2. That's going to be minus 10. I'm going to clean this up and get 2N. So this, remember that this is the same as that times that is the same as 2 times N minus 1. So that's 2 times N, 2 times negative 1. So don't, don't mess that up there. It's a little different than what we're used to. And that's 2N minus 12. And that would be uh, the value of TN. So that's equal to TN. And I'm done. Okay, so that's that. Uh, determine the first term and the common difference. If the tenth term is this, so if T10 is equal to 29 and, and T14 is equal to 41, what's the common difference? Difference, we know that. So you can eyeball this if you want. You could say, look, four terms uh, difference. So I go from the tenth to the eleventh to the twelfth to the thirteenth to the fourteenth. So 11, 12, 13, 14, that's four differences. Uh, the total difference between these two is 12, so the difference itself is going to be 3. Okay, four, 12 divided by 3. Or you can go through it and say, I have, um, you can set this up and you can say that this is equal to, um, using this Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1. D, you can say, no, you can't say that because you know, well, yes, I'm sorry. So you can set this up and say, okay, fine, that's uh, A, I don't know what A is, so A plus uh, 10 minus 1, 9. D is equal to A plus 13D. Okay, 14 subtract that. And then you take these two and subtract them. So 29 subtract 41 is minus 12. Or do it the other way around. So you have positives, but it doesn't matter. A minus A is 0. 9 subtract uh, 13 is minus 4D. Divide by negative 4, and you get D is equal to 3. Okay, once you do that, you're going to sub that back into one of the equations, either this one or that one. So you say 29 is equal to a plus 9d, 29 is equal to a plus 9 times, that's a 9 times my d is 3, which is 27, and then that gets you a is equal to 2, and...
and that's it. Okay, there's your first term, there's your common difference. Okay, and does that make sense? Let's go back here. If A is 2 and D is 3, then 13 times 3 is 39, plus 2 is 41, and that's what I got here. Okie dokie, next up, let's go to the back. If I can click, can I click? Yep, find the number of terms here. So again, that's not, uh, that says, what is this term? What uh, term number is this? That's how we answer this question. Uh, you look here and you go, that's plus 8, that's plus 40. Hold on a second, there's something weird going on here. It's not arithmetic, it's geometric. Times 5, times 5, times 5. A is still my first term. R is my ratio or common rate, which is 5. So now I want to know what Tn is, and I use the uh, formula for uh, the geometric sequence, not arithmetic, so be careful. Uh, it shouldn't work, but sometimes people do get their R's and their N's mixed up. Uh, this is the only one with an R in it, and it's 156250 is equal to A2, 5, N minus 1, divide by 2. First step is, is get rid of this 2, divide by 2, and I end up with 78125 is equal to 5n minus 1. Take the log of each side. So then I go to log 5 times n minus 1 or n minus 1 times log 5. I should have written the other way around. Is equal to log 7, 8, 1, 2, 5. Divide this out by log 5. Put that in the calculator. Uh, you get 7 is equal to n minus 1. And then n itself is equal to 8. Okay. Then... That's it. Oh, sorry. Now, all I'm asking is that how many terms I thought, I thought I'd ask what the total was. Find the first term in the common ratio here if the third term is this and the seventh term is this. So here we have T3 is equal to 18. T7 is equual to 1458. Ratio is R. So I'm going to use the uh, geometric stuff here. So that means that T3 is equal to ARN minus 1, which is A, I don't know. R is, I don't no, and n minus 1 is squared. And then on this side, I have a, I don't know, r, I don't know, n minus 1 is to the power of 6. So the reason is it's it's 3 minus 1, which is 2. So I have this and this, and now what? How, how, do, I, what, what do, how do I do this? Well, I have, I can't sub, uh, subtract here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide. So I want to get rid of this a. So I'm going to divide each of these. So I have this over this and this over this. Actually, what I'll do is I'll flip these. So I'll go uh, 1458 over 18 is equal to AR to the 6 over AR squared. And that'll cancel out the A's. That gives me R to the 4 is equal to um, 81. 1458 divided by 18 is 81. I, and then I take a log of each side. Or I figure out what to the 4 gives me 81. And... and uh, either way, you get R is equal to 3. So this question is a little more difficult than anything we've done so far. Not difficult, different than anything we've done before. R is 3, which is great. So then I sub into this one, into this equation here, this very first one, that R is 3, and I'm going to figure out what A is. So that is 3 squared. And then I get A, 9, 18, uh, divide 9 on each side, and I get A is 2. And let's see if that's right. I'll sub it in to this equation to see if it's right. And I say that 2, 3 to the 6 is equal to something. And that something is, in fact, uh, 1458. Let's just, uh, that's, let me see if that's right. That's, uh, let me do this in my head. 3 times 3 is 9 times 9 is 81. 81 squared. 81 squared is what? 6400. Oh, man, what am I doing here? Am I going to do this? Can I actually do this? Sure. One eight eight uh one six is this right? Six five six one. Uh well that's not right. What's going on here? Give me a second, I'll pause and then I'll come back to then I worked it out. Oh yes, I did work that just worked it out in my head. Actually I messed up. Uh it's not eighty one squared. It's uh three times three is nine times three is twenty seven, so I want twenty seven squared. Um and do you guys remember how to do that twenty seven squared, how that works? Remember, you go 20 squared is 400, uh, 7 squared is 49, and then you go 7 times 2, uh, 7 times 20 is is 140, which you double that to 280, and I think this will be right. Uh, if not, again, I'll just pause it and move on. 729, no, that's right. So 729 times 2, is that 1458? Yes, it is. And uh, we're good, so that's 1458. Or you just use your calculator. Uh, I couldn't find one. So that's number 7. I'm rambling. 
find the sum of these series. Okay, first of all, is it arithmetic or geometric? Let's assume it's arithmetic first. Uh, I'm adding four. I'm adding four. Good. And I'm, I'm right. Now, the problem is I don't know what term number this is, so I have to figure this out. So Tn is equal to uh, A plus N minus 1 D. And A is my first term, 1. So what I'm saying is, again, uh, what term number is 77? So what N, what's the N value of that? So that's N minus 1, and my D is plus 4. I work my way through this. I figure out that uh, 1 plus 4N minus 4, 77. Uh, that's minus 3. Bring that over. That's 80 is equal to 4N. There are 20 terms. If there are 20 terms, then I'm looking for S20, and I'm using this here. And because I know what the last term, I can use that second formula from the two formulas, A plus Tn. So I take the first term and the last term, I add them together. And that's going to be 10, and that'll be 1 plus 77, which is 78, which is 78. Okay, a uh, little, little uh, shortcut there. And finally, last one, <clears throat> last question of the unit. Uh, let's assume it's arithmetic, so that would mean that I go from 6 to minus 12. Actually, it's not arithmetic, it's geometric, you can tell, because the sign changes. I'm multiplying by minus 2 each time, so minus 12 divided by 6 is minus 2, 24 divided by minus 12 is minus 2, so my R is equal to minus 2, my A is equal to 6, and again, I don't know what N is, I do the exact same thing I did before. What term number is this? A little, a little more difficult. TN is ARN minus 1, that's the formula for a geometric uh, sequence. So the last term is equal to negative 768. Uh, that's equal to A, which is 6. R, which is minus 2 to the power of N minus 1. And we're going to solve for N, N minus 1 and then eventually N. So I work through this. I divide each side by 6. That's step 1. I get minus 128 is equal to minus 2 N minus 1. And this won't work if I just sub the logs in because they're negative. But I can just do the same thing here and pretend they're positive if you want to use logs. Um, so I would say 128, uh, or I can divide each side by, by negative 1, uh, which I don't know, technically I can do that, uh, I'll tell you the truth, with the exponent here, but let's just, it will work either way. Um, so 128 uh, is equal to 2 to the n minus 1, I take the log of each side, and I end up finding out that, uh, let me just take my time with this, that's log 128 is equal to n minus 1 log 2. And then I go log 128 divided by log 2 is equal to n minus 1. I figure out that n minus 1 is equal to 7, n is 8. Then I sub that into sn is equal to a r n minus 1, um, r minus 1. So back to what, what I said here, uh, n minus 1 here. Because this is um, uh, um, a negative going to a negative here, there should be a bracket around here. So I, technically, I, you cannot divide out by the negative 1 on each side here. Um, what you could divide out by is by negative 1 to the n minus 1, uh, and then assume that it's uh, an odd number up top here. Uh, I'm making a mess of what I'm talking about here. But what I'm saying is, if it works with two, if it works with the negative, it'll work with the positive, right? So 2 to the x is equal, or 2 to the n, I guess, is equal to, uh, or n minus 1 is equal to 128. It'll work here, and then if you go back and you check, it will work with the negative. So technically what I did, I probably shouldn't have done, but uh, it works. So let's go with that. And then if you go ahead and you sub in all your 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 non, your known, your non, your known into here, uh, A6, uh, N8, uh, and then you end up with uh, minus 510 is your total, okay? Uh, which might or might not make sense uh, here because you look at this number and you go, wow, that's bigger. It's minus uh, 768. It should be bigger, but don't forget the term before this is positive. So you're going back and forth in positive negatives here. So so your answer uh, will not be uh, is maybe as big as you think it will be with the geometric uh, series. Okay, that was fun. Uh, that's it for this unit. Um, again, a little sketchy stuff here. I feel a little bit uh, 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 not right about uh, doing what I did here, but uh, uh, we're all right. It works out. Okay. The other thing you can do is this: is muscle it out uh, and say, look, if 128 minus 128 is equal to this. Okay, what value of negative 2, so negative 2 to the what, to the what is equal to negative 128, and then go through it and muscle it out is, is how I like to put it. What is that value? Is it 6? Is it 5? Is it 3? Is it whatever? And then you find out that it's equal to, uh, it's equal to uh, 7. So you end up with something like this, minus 2 to the 7 is equal to minus 2 to the n minus 1, okay, because we replaced that negative 128 with 7, and then 
say that seven is equal to n minus one, and then solve for n there. Okay, I'm out of time.